My name's Justin Moser. I'm the owner of Doubles and Bombs Baseball Group. We run a summer collegiate baseball team out of White Center, Washington, that is currently named the Highline Bears. The Highline Bears are home to summer college players from all over the country. We typically have players from anywhere between 25 and 30 different schools, and we are putting on events and shows that happen to have a baseball game going on center stage for our community. We uh, had tripled our sponsorship sales. We had uh, tripled our season ticket sales. Everything was looking like 2020 was gonna be the best season we had had. So in March of 2020, COVID hit. What we do is bring the community together and have large events, and that just wasn't gonna be something we could do. So we had to cancel everything we were doing. PPP loans were not an option for us. We have seasonal employees. It's a part-time gig for them. We were fortunately able to get some working Washington funds uh, and some grants that way. Uh, being a closed down entertainment venue, we were able to make that work, but they were pretty minimal, um, but helped us just kind of get through. So in the fall of 2020, we made the decision that we weren't gonna be able to put on the events and shows that we had decided we wanted to do in 2021. And so this season's very different. We're only playing 15 games here. Typically we put on about 30. You know, we have crowds, we have fans, and the stadium's totally closed off. So what we've decided to do is put all our eggs in the basket for 2022. If you had to choose three icons to represent, ooh, yeah, the West Seattle Peninsula, what would it be? There's a bunch of bir bird life as well that, you oh, know, seagulls. thrives. Yeah. Goldfinches. Yeah, gold. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently working with a company named Brandios out of San Diego, California. And what they do is they uh, do branding for professional sports teams, primarily minor league sports teams. Uh, we're looking for a name that better suits the community. It's a little bit more fun, uh, a little crazy, something weird that uh, we can get the community uh, support and get them riled around. We think 2022 is gonna be great for us.